Hey there, Kat Kibben here with some hiring help to teach you about writing a job posting that actually stands out on LinkedIn. And what you're looking at on the screen is a job posting that I was sent a few times this week and everyone was asking me, is this it? Like, is this how you stand out in a world where there's tons of job postings, they all look the same? And while this definitely stands out, I wanna remind you that the purpose of a job posting is to be found. It is to be found by the right candidate. And while this stands out and it will definitely be looked at, I don't necessarily think it would actually be found unless they did a few things. And I'm happy to say that we're not seeing a bunch of ninja job postings, which is one of the things I do not want to see ever again on a job post. But we're still seeing people adding a bunch of benefits and details into the job title. And that's another really easy way to make sure you are not found by the right talent. If you actually want to stand out on LinkedIn, if you want to create a job that stands out on LinkedIn, the first thing I'm going to tell you to do is make sure you fill out all of the blanks. Put in the searchable, the marketing job title, which we have another video on that if you want to learn how. You're going to fill in the salary. Yes, that's a deal breaker. People need to know what the salary range is. If it's on site or remote, if it's full time, right? Next, I want to see the company size and the industry because, again, that's also going to help you get found. You can add skills and make sure your response time is low. That's how we're going to stand out round one. The next way we're going to stand out is by actually creating a good job posting. And unfortunately, it was really hard for me to find one out in the wild. So let's go back and review a few baselines for writing a really good job posting. The first thing you're going to do is not post job descriptions. Job descriptions are legal documents. They are a brain dump from the hiring manager. They have 80 bullets. I really don't care how they look because they are something that stays in your digital filing cabinet, right? This is the all other tasks as required document, but this is not what goes on the internet. What goes on the internet is your job posting. A job posting is about 250 words, and it tells people a few things that they need to make the decision, the impact, the everyday activities, and the mandatory requirements. It is concise, it is catchy, and it helps people understand why this company, why this work. And finally, a job ad is going to be how you market that role. It is not more work for you. You're just going to pull a sentence or two from the job posting and use that to attract the right people. Because remember, again, this is all about being found. You're also going to create clarity in that job posting. That means no buzzword bingo, all right? So I don't need any highly collaborative team players or the new favorite of ChatGPT's passionate leaders, okay? Those words, while I know they have meaning, they only have meaning when we provide context explain what it means, provide tangible examples of that work and that value in action. Do not use laundry lists of buzzwords like the stuff the ChatGPT is spitting out right now. It only has mandatory information. Look, those requirements, you can list them all day, but we need to get to the mandatory. You can't do this without knowing this list. And that is typically fewer than seven bullets, especially when we're trying to create equity, and about 250 words total. I can almost hear the audible gasp from the person watching this on the other side of the YouTube channel. 250 words. I know that's short. Let's get it right. The last thing we're not going to do is guess. Remember, I keep referencing that job title. If the job title is not what the candidates are searching, you will not be found and you can never stand out on LinkedIn if you're never even found. So make sure to fill out all the blanks, revise your job posting, and really stand out on LinkedIn to make sure that you cast the widest net and get the best talent to apply for your jobs. And if you want to learn more, you better hit subscribe because this hiring help keeps coming and I want to make sure it's delivered directly to you. If you have an idea for a video, add it as a comment. I would love to create and help you with 
that hiring help you need. All right, hit subscribe. We'll talk to you soon.